Ever since his body was discovered on Somerton Beach, South Australia in 1948, a mystery has persisted. Who is this man? With no identification, an odd assortment of items connected to him, and an unknown cause of death, the Somerton man's identity has continued to leave investigators scratching their heads. Until now, perhaps. Professor Derek Abbott at the University of Adelaide has identified the man as Carl Charles Webb. Although Carl's body was exhumed as part of efforts to identify him, Professor Abbott was able to ID Carl using DNA from hair samples caught inside Carl's death mask. Born in Footscray in 1905, it seems that Carl wasn't some kind of spy or anyone else who might deliberately obscure their own identity. He was an electrical engineer and an instrument maker. Exactly why Carl was in South Australia is yet to be confirmed, but Professor Abbott has speculated that Carl may have been separated from his wife and Carl may have tried to track her down in South Australia. The Somerton man's wife isn't the only familiar link that Professor Abbott has been able to establish. The name T. Keane, written on Carl's tie, matches with his brother-in-law, Thomas Keane. Perhaps Thomas gave Carl his time before he departed for South Australia. There's still a lot of mystery surrounding the Somerton man. We're not certain why he was in South Australia, or why he had a scrap of paper torn from a book with the phrase Tum and Shud written on it. And most crucially, we still don't know exactly how he died or the circumstances of his death. It should also be noted that Professor Abbott's findings are yet to be confirmed by South Australia police, although things do seem promising. At long last, the Somerton man may finally have his name back.